Hey, shalom, shalom, call along. Y'all, by Shemir Rashai, by Shemir Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, you brothers, and hope for like that they're pushing this word of truth and sincerity. And for your sisters that watch, shalom to you. All right. Uh, this is another little short lesson here on, uh, it's going to be entitled, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. All right, that's uh, that's actually what we're here for. Uh, we actually here to fear Him and to keep His commandments, which is uh, which is the way that we show Him our love. All right. So and that's all He asks of us. All right. And so that's something pretty simple that we can actually give the Most High because what can we actually give Him that He doesn't have? He is the Creator. There's nothing that we can really give Him. But we can give him our time, our obedience, our sacrifice. All right. What's the greatest sac the greatest sacrifice you can give him is your own time and your own obedience. You know, is to sacrifice the things that you want, put aside what you want in this in this world, and do what's pleasing unto him. That's the greatest sacrifice that you can give him. All right. So. I want to start out in <clears throat> Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And so that's how you begin to get an, uh, an understanding of who he is and what he's about is by fearing him. Because when you fear him, he'll bring you into the knowledge of who he is, what his name is, what he's, what he's about, what he asks of you, all those different things. You must, the first step is to learn, is to, is to begin to fear him, and then you'll get his name too. All right? All right, let's see. This is going to be Psalms 111, chapter 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Right. So your fear, the fear of him is the beginning of understanding. And the fear of him is the beginning of wisdom. Okay. When you begin to fear him, he will give you the wisdom. He will give you, he will impart wisdom upon you and allow you to be able to understand what he wants, understand this book, these scriptures, all those different things, all right? A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. And when you have an understanding and you fear him, you begin to do his commandments. You begin to find out, well, what's pleasing unto him? What is he asking me? You know, you begin to do what he asks you to do, you know? Uh, simple things. If you don't want you to eat pork, it's in the law, you know, it's in the commandments. Don't eat it. Shrimp, lobster, crab, fish, I mean, uh, crawfish, crawfish, catfish, all that stuff. Simple dietary, dietary laws. They're in the commandments. You read them, you get an understanding. That's your wisdom. And you begin to fear him, being a well, well, if I do this, then he says that these are going to be the consequences. But if I do what he says do, these gonna, basically I'll get, the, I'll get the blessings rather than the curses. And that's your wisdom. You'll be wise to take counsel to, under, to understand the fact that I need to do or that you need to do what he asked you to do if you want to be blessed. And if you refuse to, you'll be cursed. It's, it's literally just that simple. All right. This is Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. So, once you get the fear, once you begin to fear the Most High, you begin to get His wisdom, you begin to get His understanding, and now you begin to hate the evil. You begin to hate the things in which the Most High hates, and you'll begin to love the things in which the Most High loves, because you, because that's how you Become one with your creator. It's by fearing him. 
that that one word, fear, fear will bring you into all the knowledge. Fear will bring you into all the knowledge in which he wants you to have. Okay? The fear of him will bring you wisdom, understanding, and you'll begin to do the things in which he asks you to do. And you'll also begin to hate the things. you hate the evil. you hate the things that he hates. Pride, you'll hate. Arrogancy, you'll hate. An evil way, you'll hate. And a forward mouth, you'll hate. Why? Because the most high hates them. Because you want to be with one with your power. You want to be on the same mind as with your power. That's with the most high, Yahweh. All right? Let's see. This is Proverbs 10, 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. So you're coming into knowledge. You're coming into understanding. You're coming into wisdom. You begin to hate the evil. You begin to do what, what he asks you to do. You begin to keep his commandments. And thus, how will he bless you? He'll prolong your days. You'll live full, you know, you'll live a full life. You'll live longer days. But if you hate, if you do not fear him, thus you hate him. You hate the most high. All right. And you'll and you'll be you'll be looked at as the wicked, as a wicked person. And your days will be shortened, or your years will be shortened, as the scripture says. So a combination of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, being one with your power, doing what he says, will prolong your days. Keeping his commandments to the best of your abilities, you'll live a better life. Think about it. It's actually really simple because even something so simple as the dietary laws, those are things that literally helps you to live a healthier life. All right. Dealing with the herbs, or as the scripture says, the herbs are, uh, are, are, are medicines in the earth provided for us. Those are things that will help prolong your life. Uh, matter of fact, check this out. Let me get this scripture real quick. I didn't even plan on this one. Let's see. Here it is. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 30, verse 25. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. All right? You will actually care about your diet. Why? Because you fear the Most High. And you understand that your body is a temple. You understand that you want to take care of that temple. You understand that Taking care of that temple by keeping his commandments, fearing him, gaining understanding, wisdom, knowledge. It will prolong your days by keeping up your temple. All right. It's interesting how all of this comes together. Let's see. It all comes full circle. It's another scripture I'm looking for. It's not that one. So like it, brothers, give me a, give me a sec. It's another scripture I want. Oh. Here it is. Proverbs 14, 27. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. 
So like I said earlier, when you put it all together, you fear him, you gain understanding, you gain wisdom, you gain knowledge, you begin to keep his commandments, you, um, you know, you have care for yourself, you have care for your temple, you begin to hate the evil, and like what did it, didn't I say Job is stew with evil? The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Did I say the, uh, the fear of the Lord will prolong it? You'll prolong your life too. So it's a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Matter of fact, let me uh let me get that. Job was a perfect example of one that feared the most high. This is uh Job one and one. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the most high. The one that feared God. I, I didn't even uh, plan on getting that, but that, that's the spirit. Uh, one that feared the most high and eschewed evil. Why did he eschew evil? Because Job hated evil. All right. He hated the things because the most high hated evil. So he eschewed evil, meaning he... Uh, he avoided evil. He did, he did not try to be around evil. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. I want to get that, uh, see what word, what word that is in Job. Let so, or. All right. He eschewed evil to turn aside. He de turned aside from it. He departed from it. He avoid away. He, he depart from away. He avoided to be removed, to come to an end. All right. He avoided evil. Job was not walking, you know, along with those that committed iniquity. He did not want to be caught up with that because he feared the most high. I'm going to read again. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the Most High or feared God and eschewed evil. Okay? That's why we had um, in Proverbs 14... Fourteen twenty seven, the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. You fear the Most High, He will protect you from death. You fear the Most High, He will prolong your life. You won't be caught up in death. And uh, and it says the fear of the Lord, the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So what are the wages of sin? Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death. If you fear the most high, you will eschew evil. You will eschew iniquity. You will avoid evil. You will avoid iniquity. You will avoid sin as much as you can because once again, we are still in this flesh. Okay? And this flesh worketh against you. All right? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the most high, of the gift of God, is eternal life through Yahweh Mashiach. I will out of one. Our Lord. Okay? Now, I want to get this here. <clears throat> here it is. Ecclesiastes of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love in order for the most high to even accept you you got to fear him first if you don't fear him he's not going to accept you he's going to give you up to your own vile affections allow you to do what's convenient for you allow you to continue on in your sin and what will that bring about you death 
It's not going to prolong your life. It's going to bring you the snares of death. See how it all comes together? That fear brings about wisdom, knowledge, understanding, obedience, life. Okay? Brings wisdom, knowledge, understanding, obedience, and life and love. Okay? So, So what's, I mean, so what's the end result? Well, let us hear the conclusion. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, fear the Most High, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Matter of fact, I want to get this. I'm going to come back and read that one again. That's how powerful it is. Uh, let me get this real quick, too. So I can. That's not what I was trying to do. First John five and three, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Okay. The things that which He asks us to do, they're not grievous unto us. They're actually there to help you. These commandments, these law statutes of commandments in which He's given us, they are there to help you. You know, your fear brings about wisdom, understanding, knowledge, love, obedience. Okay? They bring about those things when you fear him. And when you fear him, you will keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. And whether you realize it or not, when you read those uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, they actually, they actually do bring about wisdom. They actually do bring about understanding and how to maneuver through this life and handle different situations and different things, you know, because he'll also bring that the Holy Spirit to, to give you the understanding of how to, how to maneuver, you know, what, all, what manner of persons are you to be, okay? If you want to love him, you want to keep his commandments. If you fear him, you'll love him. If you love him, you'll keep his commandments. And when you do that, you'll get wisdom. You'll gain wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay? So I want to get that scripture again in Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear of the Most High, fear God, and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's what we're here for. We're here to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. That's how we reverence Him. That's how we make a. That's how we make that ultimate sacrifice. Because when you fear Him and you keep His commandments, you'll do things that are contrary to the world. You'll do what's contrary to the world and what's pleasing unto him. And that's the sacrifice that he's looking for. Okay? So, hope you're edified. Remember, the conclusion of the whole matter, fear the most high and keep his commandments. That's our duty. All right? Hope you're edified. Shalom.